What's up everybody, it's your girl Keishira and I'm here with my first get ready with me. It is currently 8.47 in the morning so I'm sorry that I look so tired. I'm just going to be showing you guys how I get ready before I go somewhere. Um, I wouldn't call this a tutorial but I'm going to be showing you how I put on my wig and how I do my makeup. Also a disclaimer, I am not a professional. I'm just showing you what works for me and what I do. And if you have any tips or comments, um, comment them down below. Or you can hit me up on my social medias, which will be at the end of the video. So first, I'm going to start by washing my face with Neutrogena Deep Clean Cleanser. I'm just going to squirt a little bit on my hand and then just, you know, proceed to rub it all over my face. Now I'm just drying my face and feeling salty because I lost my nose ring. <laughs> now I'm going to take this Artistry Toner and I'm just going to rub that all over my face. If you watched my morning routine with my 11 month old, um, you know that I would just wash my face in the morning. But since I'm doing my makeup, I'm going to take this extra step and put on some toner. Now I'm going to moisturize my face with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This is the same thing that I used in my morning routine in my last video. So just rub that all over your face. I also had Kehlani in the bathroom with me guys and she wanted to get up and talk to the camera. She was pulling at my leg the whole time. So just a little playtime to ease her. To begin my wig installation, I'm just going to lightly grease my edges and scalp because when I spray the spray, it always dries my hair out. So this extra layer of protection is always good for my hair. So I'm just going to put that all around where I know I'm going to spray the glue. Next step is I'm just going to brush my hair back into a low bun. Many people get cornrows or braids when they're putting on wigs, but I do not know how to braid my own hair. So I just brush my hair back into a low bun and try to get the bun as low as possible. So here's what the bun looks like. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're gonna put your wig over it. And the reason that I say get it as low as possible is because I use the combs in my wig. So what I'm gonna do is stick the back comb of the wig into that low bun. So it's not right on my scalp, but there's a little bit more security. So now I'm just gonna put the wig cap on my head and try to fit all the loose hairs and all the hairs in as much as possible so that I don't spray it with the glue as much. I got this wig cap at the store. It's not like the professionals use. I just got this at the hair store when I bought the wig. Here's the wig, you guys. This wig was actually originally loose wave curl texture but I had boiled it and straightened it the other day and I also wore it the other day so it's a little nappy but I got this wig at the regular wig store I don't know what type of hair it is for the next steps you're gonna need a blow dryer to dry the glue I use got to be free spray so yeah I basically just spray it around my whole head and on the wig cap and then I dry it with the blow dryer until it feels like a tacky glue. Now you're just going to keep repeating the steps over and over until you feel like your glue is thick enough and sticky enough to hold your wig on. 
So I do it two or three times, depending on how long I plan on wearing the wig. In this case, I only did it twice. Now I tighten the drawstrings in the back of the wig, not too tight because I didn't plan on wearing it in a long time. And I tuck that comb into the bun like we talked about earlier. Now I'm just placing the wig over top of the glue to make sure it has a nice fit. Make sure that it's sticking how I need it to. And just pressing down on the wig. Now here I'm just going to spray right where the wig touches my forehead and the two tabs on the side just to give it a little bit more security in those places. So this was the wig once I got it on. I'm just brushing through it to get some of the knots out. Now I'm gonna lay the baby hairs. And I already made some baby hairs in this wig the other day. So basically all I have to do is go over them with what I use to do my actual baby hairs, which is Shine and Jam. I use that on my natural baby hair. So I just use those to kind of form the baby hairs that I want before adding the free spray on them and blow drying them as well. So here's what the wig looks like after I've done the baby hairs and just brushed through it a little bit. I'm going to run through it with my flat iron just to give it a straighter look. You could leave it like this if you'd like, but I just prefer it to look a little bit straighter. Now I'm going to get ready to start my makeup. I'm just going to start by pinning the wig back just so it doesn't fall into my face. I usually put it in a ponytail but I didn't want to do that to crease the hair that I just flat ironed. Now I'm going to start my makeup. I start with my eyebrows. Um, I actually use powder. I don't know why I didn't show it but I cannot use an eyebrow pencil. I am very sloppy with that. So I just start with a very thin line at the beginning of my brow and I just follow my natural brow line. 
and just fill it in until it's as dark and full as I want it. So here's my brows once I filled them in using the powder. Next I'm just going to contour my brows and I actually do not use concealer. I use MAC foundation which is what I put all over my face. Um, I'll use concealer and contour and do all that when I'm doing something fancy. Other than that just for a natural face look I just use my foundation to contour my eyebrows. So I'm going to put it on my hand just to conserve the makeup and I'm going to use the flat straight edge brush and I'm just going to follow that same brow line. Next, I'm just going to take this big old brush that I use to spread the foundation all over my face and just try to blend it a little bit more. It doesn't have to be blended perfectly just for the simple fact that I'm going to come back and put the foundation all over my face. Now I'm just going to use the rest that was on my hand from contouring my brows and I'm just going to rub it all over my face and try to blend it as nice and even as possible. So here's a basic overview of what it looks like after I've done my brows and my foundation. Now I'm going to go in and do my eyeshadow. Um, just a disclaimer, I do do my eyeshadow using Q-tips. Um, I started this in middle school and freshman year when I really got into eyeshadow. And then I just got really good at blending and using Q-tips. It's also easier when I'm doing other people's makeup and don't feel comfortable using my brushes. I can just pull out a few Q-tips and do a nice looking eye. Now I'm just going to go in with some telescopic mascara. This mascara works so well for me. Um, I didn't feel like wearing eyelashes today so I just threw on some mascara. Now right here I'm going to take my favorite highlight from MAC which is in a gold color and I'm just going to put it on my nose just to make it look like I really contoured my nose. So now I'm just unclipping my hair and brushing it down.
Now I'm gonna go in and spray my edges with the Got To Be Free spray. Just to give it a little bit more security. I like to do it after I do my makeup just so the spray isn't running all down my face, making it sticky, cause it actually does cause it to look flaky and crusty on your skin. So this is the finished look. All I did was place the hair how I wanted it. Thank you guys for watching and once again I'm not a professional this is just what works for me leave a like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video you don't need to say